Very splendid. Thank you. Pity we didn't have it for the first day. Well, I don't know what else we can do. I've mentioned it at every service. Been on local radio twice and in the Gazette. Get a famous actress to come. If people don't want to come, we can't force them. Well, it takes time for word to get about. Good morning. Good morning. We haven't nearly enough exhibits yet. Keep at it. I reckon you ought to pay us. Dad, you must be joking. Now, listen to this. My late housekeeper, God preserve her, said that only three guardians escaped that ghastly night of burnings. They hid away in St Cuthbert's church and then disappeared. She told me this as a very old lady and may have been wandering in her mind. Guardians? Does that mean witches? That's who they burned. Some funny things have been happening around here ever since we started this museum. Such as? First, those clothes that turned to dust. They came from St Cuthbert's. And then your Jimmy, saying the stone man talked. Don't take notice of what he says, ever. And how can you explain? Oh, that man. Mr Alabaster, yes. How could anyone get in here without the doorbell ringing? And what's he asked me to look for? A grinagog. Does that have something to do with it? Don't know. None of us do. Do we? Dad. Yeah. Take a look at Jimmy. I've never seen him take to anything like his tone to your little man. It was a present for you. Oh, I don't mind. Keeps him happy. Keeps talking to it. <laughs> it's not natural, you know, in a boy of his age. What are you saying to my little fella? How do you know you've got a bad leg? He sees me limping a bit. I do when he's playing me up. All he says is one will come to ease the pain. Well, ask him when, will you? Because he's giving me jip today. I have, but he won't say. Bye, Mum. Local radio. Perhaps some cuthbits. No, what? She wouldn't go quietly, so the police have taken her to the station. Our police station? Man. Yes. She was screaming, saying it was stolen off the church. Can't be those old rags, surely. Might have been her. She was dressed like a tramp. OK, look, I'll see you there in five minutes. Oh, you all right? Um, Dad, I'm just going out to see Dave. Died in 11.34. I shan't be long. What kept you? You stop. Hello. Just the man I wanted to see. Look, uh, tell your dad I can't make it, Sally. I'm on a big demo in town. Who'll keep wicket, then? Oh, I know. A uh, second eleven bloke. What's his name? Well, what can I do for you? Y you've arrested someone on the St Cuthbert's building site. We have. Well, you know we're building this museum at the rectory. Yes, I've been meaning to get up into the attic. Well, what's that got to do with this old biddy? Well, we wondered, didn't we, Dave? Yeah. What she thought had been stolen from St Cuthbert's. Well, we couldn't make out. She was, uh, screaming at us. Maybe it was among the stuff brought in for the museum. In which case, we could return it to her. If we could find out what it was. And then she'd cause you no more trouble. So, could we go into the cell, just to ask her? Well, we were going to let her go anyway, once she'd called off. I'll go and see if she's calmed down enough to tell us what it was all about. It's not possible. What the...? Tisha and Lil, I was here. No sign of the Lord. We meet again at his resting place. Edie. What's that all about? And who's Tisha and Lil? And how'd she get out? That's what I'd like to know. 
Grandad, Grandad, gentlemen. Eh? Oh. Tue Billy Alabasta. Billy Adam, what could I do for you? May I inquire where you found the little man? I didn't find him. He was a present. My mum gave it to him. And where did she find it? I love the back of a lorry. Ah, the lorry's removing the stones from St. Cuthbert's. Yes. It definitely is. You can see by the gold flecks in the stone. It definitely is a Grenagog. A what? Nobody knows where the name comes from. But that's what it is. A Grenagog. I knew it had a name. But I just couldn't think of it. Sir, I see you limp a little. Oh, old age creeping up on me. I happen to have on me. Here. Apply a little ancient salve to the troubled limb. How much is it? It's not for sale. You won't get it in the shops. My compliments. Oh. Thanks very much. Just smooth it on. Its very presence is effective. Yes. You were asking me what a Grinagog is when I had to leave. There are extremely few in the world today. But here, see? You are looking at one. A large bird swooped onto high ground to snatch a beloved captive and take her up and away. Her golden hair catching the dawn light like an airliner's wing. What does that mean, Mr. Al oh, that's what happened last time. I asked him a question and he gone. I'm home. Hi, Mum. Hello, Colin. Hi, Miss Becker. Oh, it's been a funny sort of day. I've been telling Mrs. Hodges all about it on the bus. Why? What happened? Next time you're in Newtown, Dave, you must come and see where I work. Why? Because it'd be easier to explain, that's why. You see, coats and dresses is on the top floor. And my department's on the floor underneath. Now, is that clear? Very clear. Good. Well, I was taking the dust covers off my counter at opening time this morning, and there was all this racket upstairs. Miss Blackett and I rushed up to find Mrs. Southover in such a state. There'd been a burglary. What had they taken? Money? No. Oh, just a few women's clothes and a dummy. A dummy what? A dummy. What coats and dresses put coats and dresses on? <laughs> Why on earth anyone should want to pinch one of those, I don't know. It had on a cheap white dress and a yellow wig that was well past it, they said, in coats and dresses. How'd they get away with a thing like that without being seen? Nobody knows. The detective thinks they must have come in through the skylight because there was no sign of a break-in on the ground floor, back or front. Now, isn't that weird? Yes. Very strange. Next, Mr. Alabaster. Why is he here? Make a super character in a play. Oh, be serious, Essie. The writing on the wall. Tisha, Lil and Edie. They couldn't be the three guardians you read out of the diaries. You're right. They couldn't be. No, it's not possible. The only one named in the diaries is Edie Possett. So far, that is. There must be millions of years between now and then. Those diaries were written hundreds of years ago. The canon wrote... The story handed down from previous generations was that each of the three, astride her besom, rose into the sky. They cloaked streaming as oh, they rode the rising girl. The first of them held aloft some talisman as they encircled the village. Then they soared away into swirling clouds. I just can't believe that's anything to do with our village. It's the same village, Dave. And some of the same families. Like us fur kettles. Yes, Roger, we read you. Come in. Boys. Jimmy. And shortly, the rest of the American Eagle Squadron. She's cleaning the place out, the whole attic. What for? And the bus uses it. Don't know. She didn't ask me to help either. That's odd, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, she's coming. Oh, 
Been up in the attic, Mum? Giving you a good cleaning out. What for? I've let it to a very nice lady and her daughter. Well, I haven't met yet. A Mrs. and Miss M's. Mum, who says we need lodgers? Just came into my head. Well, you know we could do with the extra cash, so I just put an advert in the Gazette. They'll be having all their meals up there, so what's it to anybody else? What are you so pleased about? Nothing. I'll go. Oh, I left my key in the other trousers. Sorry. Second time this week. I got one. Just to say we're closing the drawer. You and your raffle ticket stands much chance of winning the pools. It's only our village, so the odds are much less clever. Granddad? Eh? You're not limping. No. <laughs> Mr. Ali Barster's stuff works a treat. <laughs> uh, stand back, Granddad. Surprise coming up. Mrs. Perkettle. He's carrying her, because she's a bit poorly. Oh. oh. Come in. All right, my mother? Don't fret. We're there now. How do you do, mister? Children. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs. Follow the lady. Well done, House. There's nothing. Uh, wait. Bring our belongings in, children. There's the little man, Fairy. Fine, fine. Fine, fine. Are they staying here? Fresh, sir. Oh, good. Thanks for coming on Debbie Howard's car. She couldn't walk, you could see that. Wonder what's wrong with her. Poor thing. Thank you. She's strong. Is she really ill, Harold? I'll be eating enough in that one. Well, what's the matter with her? Don't know. Didn't move a muscle. Never said the word. Look at this. One month rent in advance. Don't either of you go upsetting them, is that quite clear? And I'm afraid that this, uh, this doesn't alter what I said about this year's trip to town. We've got to be very careful still, because there's rumours of laying more off at the store. <coughs> so, uh, don't mention it to Jimmy. And maybe he won't remember we usually go to town bank holiday weekend. Jimmy! Now what's he after? Oh, never mind. If my ticket gets picked out first, I'll pay for all of you. Oh, thanks, Grandad. I'll get my shoes clean. Dave, go after him. I don't want him getting knocked over. All right, Mum. Mm. You still there? Still here? Of course I am. The wind last night swirled up bus tickets and toffee papers and some kids left fish and chip paper behind. I hates the smell of vinegar. Hates it. 
Well, don't you? Yes. Oh, not Mama going mad. Who's he talking to? I don't know. Next bus isn't till 8.30. Could be waiting now. Hard enough. Come on. You sure? Who are you talking to? Miss Bendy Bones. She lives on the road. There's no one up there. No, oh, she just went out. Oh, he's had it again. Come on, young man. Where do you get a name like that? It's her real name. Of course it is. Granny's going to win the swindle, Miss Bendy Bones told me. Oh, and she ought to know. She said the Granny Gog will see he does. Let me get this straight. He could see her, but you couldn't. We didn't hear her speak either. Bendy Bones sounds a likely name for one of those witches. Oh, come off it, Nan. Uh, uh, no, not witches. Guardians in the diaries. He's a little what's it, into everything. Like when Mum came down with our lodger's rent. You have taken a lodger, a lady and a sick daughter. He was for spending the money before Mum could put it away. I think. I don't like to think. But it's possible. Get on with it, Nan. Jim is a fur kettle, and your family goes right back to the olden days, doesn't it? And we know that. So, for some reason, Jimmy could be on sort of wavelength with the Guardians. Like tuning into a radio station? You mean he can hear their ghosts hanging around in the air? Then why Jimmy and not me and Essie? As your granddad with the Grinigog. It's all adding up to something. Yes, Colin, but what? Tell you what, I'll work late on the diaries again. See if Mr Alabaster turns up like he did before. No, Colin, don't. If he does, then what? I think he knows what's going on. I'll ask him. Straight out. You can't start that by saving your life, Nicole. Oh, who's talking? What have you got run down I didn't. It only just missed you. Don't start. Hello? Anyone home? Funny. Very. Mm. Hello? Something's happened. Presented in the scout hut tomorrow. And you're all going to town for the day of me. Oh, Grandad, that'll take a big bite out of it. Oh, it's worth it. Oh, thanks, Grandad. Great. Well, taking in lodges has certainly brought us good luck. How can that be? Dunno. Just the feeling I've got. Told you so. I was working on the canon's diaries. Still on my first one. My notes were here, and I turned all the lights out except this one, to conserve energy. You go, Nan. It's got to be exactly like the last time. How will he know that you want him to come? We don't know, do we? That's the point. So, if he comes, what does it mean? That's what we're trying to find out. Suppose so. Close the door, Nan. your sign. Yes, thank you. Please come in, Mr. Alabaster. Thank you. Hmm, something else new? No, that was up before you came last time. 
I don't remember hearing it. No, nor do I. The mind plays tricks sometimes. I was on my way to uh, somewhere else when I suddenly had the urge to call and see you. You mean you haven't come for some reason? Not really. Do you have any queries in your researches? Something to ask me? Well, yes. I'd like to know a number of things, really. Unfortunately, I don't have much time. Some things seem to be happening that we don't have any explanation for. You are at the age when you begin to notice that life can be like that. You said something would happen. Did you mean something big as a result of the things happening now? I will answer your question with a question. Have you found any reference to a Grenegog in Canon Alloway's diaries? Not yet. That will be the key to everything. Uh, my sister seems to think that we might be in some sort of danger. Are we? That depends on what she or you call danger. works every time. But it didn't last time you came. Then that was before you put it up. Or was it magic? I'm never going to get this finished by the deadline. Oh. Had a good session? Yes, I... Sir Devlin's rectory? How did he know? I don't know, but he did, Hello? didn't he? Hello? Strange. No one there. Are you making progress with the old diaries? Not tonight. Someone called. We've been talking. Oh, at the museum? In a way, I suppose. Is anyone I know? I've no idea who he is or where he comes from. Oh. Well, maybe he'll come back again. Yes. I'm fairly sure he will. <laughs> <laughs> 